How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? As you get ready to listen to this upcoming episode from the Playmakers Vlog Podcast, I just want to let you know that you too can get into the podcast journey. It's very simple. It's very easy. All you got to do is jump on Anchor, the one-star shop for a recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. It is 100% free and easy to use. And even with Anchor, you can get great sponsors who want to advertise your podcast. That means you can get paid for your podcast right away from Jump Street. So, in fact, reading this ad is what I'm doing right now. So, if you had the time, if you had the wood and determination and the dream to be a podcaster, what you waiting for? Jump on it. Anchor is the way to go. You ready? I'm ready. The Playmakers Bar Podcast present Hoops Talk, hosted by Darnell, the playmaker, silence. NBA, college basketball. Playoffs, Mars Madness. No matter what, we talking hoops, man. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your Friday's edition of Who's Talk. Now I do know we didn't have a we didn't have an episode on Tuesday. I do apologize for that. Some things I couldn't control, so I had to push it to today on this Friday, April 16th, 2021. So stuff I want to get into, because you know I'm not gonna take too much of your time, but this is Hoops Talk with your boy. The playmaker Darnell Silence from Jacksonville, Florida. And I must say, to start off, Stephen Chef Curry has been going bananas in the last nine games. The Warriors, the Golden State Warriors have won seven of their last ten games. They seven and three in the last ten games. They are six and nine with Steph Curry scoring 30 points. Steph Curry is on a 30, is on a nine game streak of scoring 30 points. Maybe I can get that out correctly. Yeah. This man has scored 30 points in nine straight games. They are six and three in those games where Steph Curry has scored 30 points. March 29th versus the Chicago Bulls, 32 points and a win. April 1st at Miami. 36 points and a loss. April 4th at Atlanta. 37 points and a loss. April 6th versus Milwaukee. 41 points and a win. April 9th. 32 points against the Washington Wizards and a loss. April 10th versus the Houston Rockets. 38 points and a win. April 12th. Just four days ago. Versus the Denver Nuggets. One of the top four teams in the West. 53 points and he win. He followed that up on April 14, two days ago at OKC. And he dropped 42 points in a win. And just last night, ladies and gentlemen, in, at Cleveland, against the Cleveland Cavaliers, he dropped 33 points in a win. And the last four games for the Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry has scored 38, 53 42 and 33, all W's. All W's. The Golden State Warriors are still alive. They still fighting for a playoff. I'm not going to get into the whole playoff scenario yet because that's. I might need a full episode to do that. This whole play in tournament between the 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 thing. Yeah, this is. I don't like it. But it is what it is. I'm not going to get into it, though. I will say this. The Golden State Warriors, with Steph Curry, they have a shot. They have a legitimate shot. Right now, they are in ninth place. At, they are 500 at 28 and 28. But going, but doing what they've been doing lately, they have a shot. They only, they only are half a game behind the Memphis Grizzlies, only because... The Grizzlies have two two less losses than them, but Golden State has one more win than the Grizzlies. That's the only reason. But other than that, they have a shot. 
that was trying, especially when you when you can beat one of the one of the top four teams in your conference and you scoring fifty three points. That says a lot. That does says a lot about Steph Curry. Steph Curry is on a tear right now. So when is they next? Let's see, when is they next game? Because this man here has gone ballistic. I mean, truly ballistic. Oh, they next game will be tomorrow. I'm going to get to that. And I'm going to get to that when we're preview. And I'll tell you what games to watch. Because so, that's the game y'all need to watch. The next time Steph Curry takes the court, will he will he be able to keep the streak going on? He's at nine straight. I'm scoring 30 points. Can he make it 10 on tomorrow? I'll get to that later. In other news, the Boston Celtics. Last time I spoke to y'all, I was getting on the Boston Celtics. I was getting on Brad Stevenson because this team didn't look good. This team, the last time I talked to y'all, was probably last Friday. Actually, last Friday because I ain't do a show Tuesday. Last Friday, they was in the seventh spot. And they was at 500. I was not pleased at all with the Celtics. It's been a whole week later. They played 10 games. They are 7-3, and three, and they are on a 5 team winning streak. They have went from 7th and being 500 to now 5th in the East at 30-26. and 26. They actually tied with the Atlanta Hawks, but I guess Atlanta holds the edge over them, so Atlanta's number 4. Shout out to the Hawks, by the way. Shout out to the Hawks. Trey Young, Clint Compiler, and the rest of that crew. Shout out to you guys. Being the fourth, being being the fourth place in the East. Not people, not many people would consider y'all the fourth best team in the East, and I am one of them because I don't see y'all as the fourth best team in the East. But I can't deny the fact that y'all are in fourth place above the Boston Celtics. But it was Boston keep doing what they doing. By the way, Jason Taylor and Jalen Brown went off on the Lakers yesterday. Even though the Lakers are still without AD and LeBron, AD has been cleared to practice. So very soon, you know, he'll be returning. And you know, after that, LeBron will be returning. But anyway, Boston Celtics did what they need to do last night against the AD and LeBronless Lakers. Jalen Brown had 40 in the game. Tatum had 14. Thompson had 14. Walker had 12. And Marcus Smart had 15. So all five started with him. Double figures. And Jalen Brown just took over. Very efficient with 17 of 20. For 40 points. That's, what, that's very impressive. But like. The Celtics are starting to. Find them way. Which is a good thing. They are starting to find their way. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. So I like to see what Boston do in their next game. Because they play tomorrow. I can't wait to watch that game. I really can't. I can't wait to watch that game. But again, the Boston says keep going. But you know, I can't. I have to talk about the West. The West is crazy. I'm looking at these standards in the West. Utah and Phoenix both hit the 40 win mark. Utah is 41 and 14 in the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns, Phoenix Suns are 40 and 15. Not too far behind them is the LA Clippers who are at 39 and 18, and then the Denver Nuggets who are in the fourth spot, 35 and 20. The reason why I'm talking about these four teams, not only because they are they are top four in the West, but let's look at their last 10 games. Denver Nuggets are 8 and 2 in their last 10 games. The LA Clippers are 8-2 in their last 10 games. The Phoenix Suns are 9-1 in their last 10 games. And the Utah Jazz are 7-3 in their last 10 games. Are y'all seeing this? The West is unbelievable. The West is unbelievable. And to mind the fact the West has the top 10 records, the top 3 records in the league. Look at this. Utah number 1 at 41 and 14. Number 2 will be the Phoenix Suns at 40 and 15. The LA Clippers would be in third with 39 and 18. Your first East team won't come to Philly at 38 and 17. 38 and 17. And then it comes Brooklyn and Milwaukee before you get to the Denver Nuggets. Like I said, 
I'm going to say it again. If it ain't Philly, if it ain't Brooklyn, I don't like the East chances. I only like the East chances if it is Philly. But Philly and Brooklyn will give the East the best chance to uh, win the NBA Finals. Because other than that, the, the, the NBA champion is coming out of the West again. It's coming out of the West again. And the fact that LeBron and AD ain't back yet for the Lakers, let's tell you something. And as the Lakers, they they are in fifth place right now. They're right behind the Denver Nuggets with 34 wins and 22 losses. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, hey. There's some things to look at. Over in the West. The West looks good. The East, you're really looking at. You're really trying to see. We like Atlanta. We appreciate what Atlanta's doing. We appreciate what New York's doing because New York finally New York got something to cheer about for once. They can cheer about the Knicks for once. We like that. We like that. Charlotte. Charlotte ain't been the same since the Mella ball went down. They got four and six in their last team. And then Gordon Hay was injured too, so the Charlotte Hunters ain't been the same thing. Them three teams, we, we appreciate what y'all doing. We appreciate, but we are looking at Philly, Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Boston, and Miami. Those are the teams we're really looking at in these. And Miami, Miami can't get it together. For whatever reason, Miami can't get it together. 28 and 7. They are 6 and 4 in their last 10 games. They only a two game losing streak. Miami can't figure it out. Look like Boston figured it out. Miami can't figure it out. What is going on? It was those really five teams we were looking at. Philly, Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Boston, and Miami. Boston starting to get it together. Philly, Brooklyn, and Milwaukee. They've been doing their thing the whole season. Miami, Miami losing their way. But other than that, but when you look at the West, Utah, Phoenix, the Clippers, the Nuggets, the Lakers, the Trailblazers, the Mac. Look at that. It's just different. Look at Jackson, it's just different. Just different. I mean, the West is loaded. The East, you need to get it together. All the West will take over, will take on the NBA trophy. Yet again. Yet again. Now, another news before I get to what you need to watch. Watch this weekend. James Wiseman. Had successful surgery for a meniscus tear in his right knee. He is done for the season, but he should be back for the 21-22 season. That's a, that's a blow to the Golden State Warriors, even with Steph Curry going stupid as he is. But As long as they got Steph Curry, they have a chance of making the playoffs. But Speedy recovery, thankfully, James Wiseman had a successful surgery for his knee. Speedy recovery. We hope to see you next season, sir. That brings me to LaMarcus Aldridge. A nice career. Can't say stellar career. Can't say a great career. Nice career. 15 years, 15 years in the league. Seven-time All-Star. Most of them were with the Portland Trailblazers. Hall of Famer, that might be pushing it. Hasn't been to the NBA Finals. I don't even remember him being in you know, the Western Conference Finals. Nice player. Great, pl- good player. I love him, Marcus Rogers. I, I, I like his game. But in situations like this, you feel you feel bad. Same thing with Chris Bosh. That's happened to Marcus Rogers. Irregular heartbeat. I had to call it quits with the health scare. I don't blame him. Health is the most important thing. I wish Lamarca already nothing but the best. We appreciate the 15 years that you gave to the NBA and to basketball. A very nice career. It was never in the headlines for the wrong reasons. He did things in a very classy and professional way. It's a shame because he might actually have a chance, even though he's with the Brooklyn, he actually had a chance of winning the NBA title. But it's a shame that it got cut short like this. Maybe if the Brooklyn Nets still win, they'll they'll give him a, they'll give him a ring for being part of the team, even though he wasn't on the team for that long. But but we'll see. We'll see. But a nice career, good watching him. Wish you nothing but the best, Marcus Rogers. All right, 
now let's get to the games that y'all need to watch for this weekend so we can wrap up and get out of here. Tonight, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, 7 o'clock, both games will be on ESPN, starting with the Los Angeles Clippers at the Philadelphia 76ers. We're talking Paul George, Kawhi Leonard versus Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. What are we going to see in Philly tonight? Will Tobias have to step up to be that third man for Philly tonight? Who will be that third man for the LA Clippers? Reggie Jackson or John Rondo? The Clippers are the Clippers on a are on an eight and two streak for the last ten. Eight and two in the last ten now. But you in Philly. Top team in the East. This is not going to be an easy task. That's how you kick off a Friday doubleheader. Philly, 6-4 in their last 10. They're on a three-game winning streak. The Clippers have been on a seven-game winning streak, so somebody's streak is going to win. Will it be the three-game winning streak, or will it be the seven-game winning streak? Let's see. And then once you get, and once you get that in your system, you got that full course meal, they gave you some dessert. 9.30, following the Clippers and 76ers game. The New York Knicks! The New York Knicks! Sixth place in the East! Taking on the seventh place in the West, Denver, the Dallas Mavericks. The, this young New York Knicks team taking on Luka Magic in Dallas. Oh, what a, what a win this would be for them, for them Knicks. What a win this would be for the Knicks on the road. Like, hey, that boy Luka Doncic is no joke. So, New York better be on a swivel because Luka Doncic can do whatever he wants. That's your Friday's lineup. That's your doublehead on ESPN. And then Saturday, tomorrow, a couple of games you want to look at. 4.30 ESPN. Then we got the Utah Jazz, the number one team in, 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 in the league. Or at the LA Lakers. Still, we will be without LeBron James and Anthony Davis. But the Lakers have been putting up some fights. You know, Mark and Saul and Dennis Schroeder and Montrezl Harrell and Hurton Tucker and Kyle Kuzma. Yeah, they've been they've been fighting their asses off. I'm not going to lie. They've been fighting their asses off. It hasn't translated to a lot of wins, but they've been fighting their asses off. Now you got the best team in the league coming into and coming into State Center. Let's see how this goes. Let's just let's see how it goes. It's basketball. Things can happen. You talk about an off night, an off day tomorrow. Who knows? So let's just see how it goes. But your Saturday showcase on ABC resides in the city of Green, Boston, Massachusetts. As the Boston Celtics are on their way home from beating the Lakers. And they got the Golden State Warriors coming into town. Who? So, for Steph Curry to go for 10 straight for 30 points, you got to do it at TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts against the Celtics. A Celtics team who has been on fire lately. 7 and 10 in their last 10 games. As I said earlier, you take on the team who has the hottest player in the league right now, Steph Curry. Let's see what happens tomorrow night for ABC's prime time. Can Steph Curry go for 30 again? Or will, it, or will it be too much to deal with when it comes to Jason Taylor, Jalen Brown, Kimball Walker, Marcus Smart, Tristan Thompson? Let's see. I'm looking forward to that game. I'm looking for I will be tuned into that game. I can't wait. And then Sunday. I got two games for you to watch. Both games will be on ESPN. First up at 1 o'clock, New Orleans Pelicans at the New York Knicks. Zion Williamson is going to the Garden. And when I say Doug Garden, I mean Madison Square Garden. Zion Williamson and the Pelicans at Madison Square Garden take on the Knicks. A young team versus a young, a young team versus another young team. We talking. 
we talking RJ Barrett versus Zion Williamson. Two former Duke Blue that was going head to head in Madison Square Garden. The Pelicans kind of actually need this game. They are they're on the outside looking in of the play in right now. As the Knicks are in the sixth spot in the East. That should be a good appetizer. Because after that game, 3.30 ESPN, going to head down to South Beach. It's the Brooklyn Nets. And South Beach to take on the Miami Heat. Brooklyn. Will you have James Harden? Will you have Kyrie Irving? Will you have Kevin Durant for this game? And Miami. To get y'all back right. Y'all at home. You got you got the most prolific offense coming in your building. How you gonna match up? If Kevin, if Kevin Durant, James Hart, and Kyrie ever do play. Can you match up with them? Jimmy Butler, Villa Oda Depot, Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Bam Adebayo, Gordon Dragic. Don't don't get it twisted. Yeah, the yeah DeAndre Jordan helps out with the Knicks. Joe Harris is on that team still. But Miami, y'all are the reigning, defending Eastern Conference champions. And right now, you're in the seventh seed. You're the seventh seed in the East right now. The number two seed in your conference is coming to your building Sunday afternoon. This is the game people are going to look at. 3.30 ESPN. Are you going to show up and show why you are the reigning defending Eastern Conference champion? Or are we just go ahead and look at Brooklyn and like, hey, it's Brooklyn, Philly, and Milwaukee. That's it. Maybe Boston can throw their hat back into that, but they, they starting to do that, but not right now. As of right now, it's a three-team race for me. Philly, Brooklyn, and Milwaukee. If Boston continue doing what they're doing that they're supposed to be doing, then I can throw their name back into it. But Miami, you ain't new. You're not in the conversation. You're not in the conversation. So to get back in the conversation, you need to be the Brooklyn in that Sunday afternoon. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it for Friday's edition of Hoops Talk. Steph Curry is in Boston tomorrow night. Can he go for 30 again and make it 10 straight games? Can Boston go... 8-3 in their last 11 games. That's what's at stake here. The Clippers and the, and the 76ers tonight to start off your Friday doubleheader. The Clippers are on a 7-game winning streak. The, Philly, the 76ers are on a 3-game winning streak. A winning streak will come to an end tonight. And then Sunday, can Miami get themselves back together and get back in the race for tops in the East? They can start Sunday afternoon against the Brooklyn Nets. From out here in Jacksonville, Florida on this Friday. Down in the Play Mega Sounds. I am signing off. I am signing off. I'll catch y'all next week. Thank you guys very much for listening to another week of Who's Talk. Now, if you want to stay updated on new episodes that's coming up for Who's Talk, please subscribe to the podcast. And those of you who are listening on iTunes or Apple Podcasts, please leave a re rate and review of the podcast. Let us know how we are doing. And for those of you who want to be updated on everything that goes on on the Playmakers Blog brand, subscribe to the website, theplaymakersblog.com. That way you can see every podcast that's under the brand. And you can even get your own Playmakers Blog merch by hitting our shop title on the website. You'll see our threat list store and our spare shop store. So get you some Playmakers Blog merch. And don't forget to subscribe to the website to stay updated on everything that goes on on the Playmakers Blog brand. As for me, the Playmaker down there, Silence, I'm signing off until next week for the Mobile Talk.